it's a sordid tale of sex and seduction. Do you want to talk about the lines you crossed with three of your patients? In the most bizarre of claims. Oh yeah, he admits it's weird. A therapist allegedly makes the moves on a female patient. When her husband goes missing, the talking stops. Do you want to talk about how would you like it if you lost your job? And underlying it all, could there be a murder mystery? Is that a gun in your hand, Gary? Adam Mills, a devoted family man who lived with his wife and two kids in the quaint town of Milton, Wisconsin, population 5,500. I typically work in small towns, so haven't had to deal with one like this. But one night, he and the missus got into an argument. When Adam left the house to go for a breather, he was never seen again. A lot of it, to me, is kind of suspicious stuff. Where on earth is Adam? Did he just take off? Was there a tragic accident, or could it be a case of foul play? Left without his phone, left without his keys, started walking east, and that was all anybody knew. Adding to the mystery, Mills made no attempt to contact relatives. Which is really what drives the family's concern, and, and my concern too, that foul play might be involved. Friends and loved ones blanket the town with flyers and create a Facebook page with updates, but Adam never turned up. It just got more and more odd, I guess, that, um, that he hasn't reappeared. But then cops get a game-changing tip from someone very close to the missing man, his wife, who reveals salacious secrets that could break the case wide open pretty much any outcome is a possibility here. We just simply don't know. Adam's wife tells cops her therapist, Gary Jones, diagnosed her with multiple personality disorder and had been treating her for about a year. But at some point, her relationship with Jones, a licensed professional counselor, crossed the line from professional to personal. My impression of that is it's been going, it had been going on for a while. After Adam Mills disappeared, Mrs. Mills tells cops that Jones became obsessed with her, calling at all hours of the day and night. This is a big deal for us. Jones sent Mrs. Mills a frantic text message asking her to come to his house. She says Jones claimed to be having psychic visions of a creature covered in mud, which he interpreted as a sign that her husband's body was in a swamp. Are they really visions or is it something that actually happened? Jones also said he envisioned Adam dead in a garbage can, his arms scrunched up, head sideways, eyes open. That's very, very specific. Adam's wife told cops Jones even showed up at her house, professing his love for her and saying he was leaving his wife. Then he suddenly kissed her. It was just kind of shocking. How long has this been going on? Mrs. Mills says that the texts continued. Jones writing, I miss you, I love you, I had one of the greatest nights of my life with you. And she replied, slow down. My husband has only been gone for two and a half weeks. It was something that, that we looked into. I will say it that way. A few days later, Mrs. Mills reported her therapist's conduct to his employer and to Milton police. Her account is detailed in a 268 page case file from the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services. I really don't even know what to think of it. I mean, it's just, it's when I first read it, I. I had to read it four or five times just to really let it sink in. Adam's wife denies having a romantic relationship with Jones, but admits she thought about it as a way to not be homeless after Adam went missing. When cops followed up with Gary Jones, he explained that his vision stemmed from a technique called brain spotting. A lot of it to me is kind of suspicious stuff. He says his patient, Mrs. Mills, touched a sphere in his office and put some evil stuff inside. Then Jones touched the sphere and felt an electrical charge. Oh yeah, he admits it's weird. Soon after, Jones told cops that he started having those visions, which even he admits is strange. I'm sorry, but if you think it's weird and it's a practice that you feel is acceptable, then you shouldn't think it's weird. Though Jones denied having an affair with Mrs. Mills, case files show Jones had multiple romantic relationships with patients, forcing him to surrender his therapy license. Investigative reporter Brian Polson from our Milwaukee affiliate WITI Fox 6 wanted to talk to Jones about Mills' mysterious disappearance and his visions. 
He tracked him down at his home. I'd like to talk to you about the visions you had of Adam Mills' dead body. You're on private property. I'll have you arrested. Do you want to talk about the lines you crossed with three of your patients? Do you want to talk about how would you like it if you lost your job? But the confrontation quickly took a dangerous turn when a clearly angry Gary Jones escalated from words to brandishing a weapon. Is that a gun in your hand, Gary? Then Jones stepped behind a bush. He was pointing the gun. Not any gun at you, you piece of crap. Get out of here now. I have video of it. Would you like me to call the property? Get out here. Would you like me to call the police about that gun? So Polson called the cops. Police are on the way to talk to you about the gun you aimed in my direction. You didn't aim it in your direction. Could be a liar. You have him on camera with, with a gun. With yes. a gun, yeah. Luckily, nobody was hurt. At this point, the mysterious missing person case of Anna Mills remains open, and police say they don't have a shred of evidence that either Gary Jones or Mrs. Mills had anything to do with Adam's disappearance. In the meantime, Adam Mills is still missing, and after two and a half years, his family continues to plea for his safe return. Hey, if you're out there and you just want to be left alone, that's cool, but let us know you're alive. And I'm joined now by Fox 6's investigative reporter, Brian Polson. Brian, let's first talk about the moment you saw Jones approaching you with a gun. You didn't bank down at all. What was going through your mind at that point? Well, really, the first thing that went through my mind was, I need to document this. I need to get this for the story. I've been doing investigations now for more than 15 years, and nothing like this had ever happened. Of course, it was later on in hindsight that I realized it may not have been the wisest or safest thing to go engaging with a guy who was angry and holding a gun, but at that moment, it was just, I want to document this for the story. Did they ever charge Jones for approaching you with his gun? Well, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office has recommended that he be charged with disorderly conduct and use of a dangerous weapon. The DA's office in Jefferson County says they just recently received the case and it's still under review. Going back to the story itself, what about this brain spotting that Jones claimed to use? How much do you know about this? Is it a real thing? Well, from the research I've read, it is a real technique that some therapists will use. It involves eye position, uh, using eye position of a person to recall traumatic memories. But I've never really read anything about it being used in the way that he says he did. There's nothing in the literature about touching spheres or transferring thoughts to another person. Uh, he later then told me when I talked to him on the phone that it wasn't brain spotting at all, that this is just a gift he's had since he was a child. Have there been any updates on Adam Mills' disappearance? Absolutely nothing since our story aired, and that's par for the course. He's been gone now for two and a half years, and police say there's been no sign of him in the real world or in the digital world. No sign of him whatsoever, so it's really up in the air as to what's happened. Well, I can tell you this. I'm glad you're safe, and we'll be sure to follow this story. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.